Welcome to the channel Car Race. Subscribe to my channel to receive all that is new. The 2023 Mercedes GLC is a huge improvement over the outgoing model, thanks to more tech, better interiors, and an electrifying driving experience. Mercedes is not an uncommon name in the motoring industry. Mercedes-Benz has been in the game for almost a century, and their offerings range from mass-market churners to highly bespoke limited editions. One such mass-market entrant would be the GLC class. Starting its journey back in 2015, the GLC moniker is relatively new to the Mercedes family. Based on the C-Class, the GLC is Merck's take on a compact luxury SUV, rivaling the BMW X3 and Audi Q5. The Mercedes GLC has shown great promise in the world of compact luxury crossovers. In the US alone, Mercedes-Benz was able to churn close to 400,000 units over six years, making it one of the most successful models for the brand. For 2023, Mercedes has given the GLC a much-needed overhaul, equipping the compact crossover with more tech, better interiors, restyled exteriors, and an improved driving experience. This is where we reckon the GLC has improved the most. You'll find a close resemblance to the W206C class, which was, of course, inspired by the 2022 Mercedes S-Class. The interior feels very upmarket and is leaps and bounds ahead of its predecessor. Everything you touch and feel is of the highest quality materials. Fit and finish are top-notch, and you get leather everywhere, alongside tastefully laid-out interior accoutrements. The seats are exceptionally good in terms of cushioning. For Mercedes, the cabin is more spacious than before, with a noticeable increase in legroom and luggage capacity. The 2023 GLC boasts two screens running the latest Mbux software, operated via touch, speech, or steering-mounted trackpads. The center console is dominated by an 11.9-inch portrait touchscreen, a 12.3-inch instrument cluster takes care of digital readouts like speed, range, and several other driving information. The system is, by far, the best infotainment unit in business, with a plethora of convenience features ranging from natural speech recognition to augmented reality-assisted navigation. Connectivity features include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with multiple USB ports across the cabin. Amenities include wireless charging, heated front seats with memory, dual-zone HVAC, power tailgate, and remote start. Additionally, Burmester Audio, 64-color ambient lighting, and 360-degree cameras with transparent-slash-invisible hood feature further enhance the GLC experience. On a personal level, we've never been a fan of the 2022 GLC's exterior. There's too much bulk being spread out with uneven proportions. Of course, it's our observation and looks very much subjective. But for 2023, Mercedes has done a fabulous job with the GLC's design. Exterior updates include redesigned front and rear bumpers, headlights, tail lights, and a bunch of new wheel designs. Although much of the silhouette remains the same, a lot of small but noticeable changes have tidied up the exterior looks. For instance, the new headlight design feels simple yet modern, as do the restyled bumpers and taillights. On a personal level, We've never been a fan of the 2022 GLC's exterior. There's too much bulk being spread out with uneven proportions. Of course, it's our observation and looks very much subjective. But for 2023, Mercedes has done a fabulous job with the GLC's design. Exterior updates include redesigned front and rear bumpers, headlights, tail lights, and a bunch of new wheel designs. Although much of the silhouette remains the same, a lot of small but noticeable changes have tidied up the exterior looks. For instance, the new headlight design feels simple yet modern, as do the restyled bumpers and taillights. For 2023, Mercedes lets you option the GLC with painted wheel arches, which wasn't available for its predecessor. Not only does this improve the visual appeal, but it also makes the SUV slightly more luxurious. The GLC is offered in two trims, the avant-garde or entry-level trim adds 18-inch rims and a host of equipment packages. Opt for the AMG line and you get sporty bits like aggressive bumpers and bigger 19-inch AMG wheels with aerodynamic add-ons. While the European market gets six powertrain options, including gasoline, diesel, hybrid, and FEV variants, the US is expected to receive a 2.0-liter with mild hybrid technology, at least for now. Plug-in hybrids and AMG models are expected to arrive at a later date. The entry-level GLC 300 will get a 2.0-liters turbo for producing 255 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque, with an additional 12 horsepower and 148 pound to foot available from the electric motor. 
As for the FEV variant, it's likely to be the GLC 400D, which gets the same 2.0 liters inline 4 turbo, but with an electric motor sandwiched between the engine and transmission. Total output should be around 375 horsepower and 479 pounds to foot with an expected EV only range of 60 miles. AMG versions will not get a V8, but instead, a 2.0 liters turbo 4 producing 402 horsepower will be offered. Apart from being the most aerodynamic production car in the world, the Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan also baffled us with the sheer number of screens it packed. But being a sedan also did raise a lot of eyebrows into thinking why Mercedes-Benz didn't bring out an SUV with the same caliber. Well, that was answered in April 2022 with the unveiling of the EQS SUV. It's everything well that the sedan was and more. With a towel body structure and optional third row seats, the SUV has dialed up on practicality and comfort. Luxury remains a no-brainer which is now dominated by technology, and loads of screens. The insane 56-inch Mbux hyperscreen looks huge even in the SUV, and AI-backed adaptive in-car features make the EQS SUV an entity evolving to make you feel special. The Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV shares the same wheelbase as the EQS sedan but gets stretched in height by over 7.8 inches. The added height, coupled with an optional third row makes it a spacious SUV that can seat up to 7. The headroom for this SUV's third row is marginally lower than the first and second at 35.4 inches, but it still is commendable for a three-row SUV. With all three rows in use, the cargo space is capped at 6.8 chew foot fold down the optional third row flat to the floor, and you get 28.2 chew foot go on even further by folding down the second row seats, and you are treated to a lavish 71.3 chew foot of cargo space. The second row seats also offer a 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds folding ratio to cater to various types of cargo. An easy entry feature comes in handy for ingress and egress for the third row seats by moving forward by 11.4 inches. Despite being a high technology dependent interior, Mercedes-Benz still found ways to make the EQS SUV use with luxury. A Neotech structure that fuses new buck leather and neoprene is found in the instrument cluster and armrests. The interior also flaunts a unique trim material made from real wood and fused with aluminum inlays. The center console has a unique storage cover made of open pore magnolia wood and laser etched with the Mercedes-Benz logo. All seats are wrapped in the finest leather with stitching that emphasizes the handcrafted appeal. The comfort features are stacked up for all three rows. The first row gets electrically adjusting ventilated seats with memory functions and a luxury headrest. The second row adds more coziness with electrically adjustable backrest and seat row adjustments. It also gets optional premium armrests. The third row is not left out as it gets two retractable individual seats with folding head restraints and an optional heated function. The showstopper of the EQS SUV is hands down its screen situation. The standard screens package includes a digital instrument cluster and a 12.8 inch portrait style touchscreen unit. But that will rarely be seen in any EQS SUV on the road because of the insane 56 inch Mbux hyper screen package. Basically with this unit. The complete dashboard is a screen. It consisted of a 12.3-inch driver's display, a 17.7-inch central infotainment unit, and a 12.3-inch passenger display. All these screens flaunt OLED technology. The Clever Mbux interface transforms all three individual screens into one complete interface. This all-digital dashboard is coated with scratch-resistant silicate glass that also makes cleaning it easy. The heart of this digital marvel is an 8-CPU core. 24 GB RAM processor that makes complex programming seem simple. Everything from the music listening trends to themes can be curated using the various inbuilt modes or let Mbux do its AI bits and adapt to your habits. Talking of which, the melody duties are taken care of by a Dolby Atmos enabled Burmester surround sound system with 15 speakers. The second row seats also get an Mbux high-end rear seat entertainment plus feature that comprises two 11.6 inch touchscreen displays on the backrests of the front row seats. The second row can also be packed with an optional Mbux tablet that supports Android apps and can also be detached and used. The Mbux software in its latest form is adaptive and goes beyond the infotainment functions. It is integrated into the map feature and can remember GPS positions for various in-car and powertrain related bits. Then there is Hey Mercedes which supports 27 languages and comes with natural language understanding, NLU algorithm, and every other technology feature is backed by a learning algorithm in the EQS SUV. 
The driver's and passenger's moods and movements are used to change elements ranging from interior ambient lighting, music playback, perfume diffusion, and even the position and massage functions of the seats. All these are monitored either via various cameras in the cabin or usage trends. The car also has heightened security and safety features including fingerprint, face, and voice recognition for various secure features, including digital payments. Mercedes-Benz has managed to blend technology seamlessly into our everyday functions. We were always skeptical about how the integrations of intense technology features would hamper the emotional experience that comes with driving. But Mercedes seems to be showing us that sophisticated tech coupled with more screen area than your home television can coexist peacefully while on the road. Also, luxury hasn't faded away into the backdrop despite technology taking the spotlight in the EQS SUV. This all-electric SUV showcase is the next page of all-electric luxury automobiles. The GLE has reached its second generation as an SUV coupe version and its fourth since the German brand introduced it. The three-pointed star premium car manufacturer currently offers two options, the range-topping 63 S4 Matic Plus, with 603 horsepower. 612 PS, and 627 pounds to foot, 850 newton meters, of torque, and the 53 Formatic Plus. For the 2022 model year, in the US, only the latter is available. It comes with a 3.0 liter inline six turbocharged engine with mild hybrid drive that gives the GLE 53 Formatic Plus 429 horsepower, 435 PS at 6,100 revolutions per minute and a torque of 384 pounds to foot, 520 newton meters, between 1,800 and 5,800 revs. The ride underwent major customization, complete with a full hood upgrade, a front bumper splitter, fender flares, trunk lid spoiler, and a rear diffuser. The LART design experts also fitted additional stop signals and original AMG 63 attachments. Last. But not least, the car got black forged rims measuring 23 inches. The exterior comes in saffron yellow wrap from platinum wrapping film and Critex protective coating, and it features LART Design's full carbon fiber winter package. The interior didn't get a makeover and it's not as bright as the exterior. It originally included white leather seats with black accents and even a starlight headliner as you can see in our gallery. The Mercedes-Benz GL E-Class family is about to be updated, and prototypes for updated versions of some members are currently out testing. Our latest spy shots show a prototype for an updated version of the GL E63 Coupe from AMG. The current GL E-Class arrived in 2019 as a 2020 model, and in Mercedes tradition should be due for its mid-cycle update shortly. We should see the updated family arrive in 2023 as 2024 models. Prototypes for updated versions of the regular GL E-Class Sporty GLE 53 Coupe, and high-performance GLE 63 have already been spotted. Now we can add the GLE 63 Coupe to that list. The update is likely to be a minor one, at least as far as styling is concerned. Camouflage gear on the latest prototype suggests there will be some small tweaks made to the lights at both ends. The front fascia also looks to feature a slightly revised design. The interior should also receive an update with Mercedes likely to install the latest version of its infotainment system. A look inside this prototype also reveals a new steering wheel design. It isn't clear what AMG has planned for the powertrain, though we aren't expecting any real changes to the current 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 and mild hybrid combo. Although AMG is rolling out a new V8-based plug-in hybrid powertrain, we don't spot a charging port on this particular prototype. The 2023 Mercedes GLC is a huge improvement over the outgoing model, thanks to more tech, better interiors, and an electrifying driving experience. The Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Formatic Plus Coupe has exactly what it takes to look imposing. And this full body makeover in matte yellow, contrasting black and plenty of carbon fiber doesn't hurt at all. Mercedes is not an uncommon name in the motoring industry. Mercedes-Benz has been in the game for almost a century, and their offerings range from mass-market charters to highly bespoke limited editions. One such mass-market entrant would be the GLC class. Starting its journey back in 2015, the GLC moniker is relatively new to the Mercedes family. 
Based on the C-Class, the GLC is Merck's take on a compact luxury SUV, rivaling the BMW X3 and Audi Q5. The Mercedes GLC has shown great promise in the world of compact luxury crossovers. In the US alone, Mercedes-Benz was able to churn close to 400,000 units over six years, making it one of the most successful models for the brand. For 2023, Mercedes has given the GLC a much-needed overhaul, equipping the compact crossover with more tech, better interiors, restyled exteriors, and an improved driving experience. This is where we reckon the GLC has improved the most. You'll find a close resemblance to the W206C class, which was, of course, inspired by the 2022 Mercedes S-Class. The interior feels very upmarket and is leaps and bounds ahead of its predecessor. Everything you touch and feel is of the highest quality materials. Fit and finish are top-notch, and you get leather everywhere, alongside tastefully laid-out interior accoutrements. The seats are exceptionally good in terms of cushioning. For Mercedes, the cabin is more spacious than before, with a noticeable increase in legroom and luggage capacity. The 2023 GLC boasts two screens running the latest Mbux software, operated via touch, speech, or steering-mounted trackpads. The center console is dominated by an 11.9-inch portrait touchscreen. A 12.3-inch instrument cluster takes care of digital readouts like speed, range, and several other driving information. The system is, by far, the best infotainment unit in business, with a plethora of convenience features ranging from natural speech recognition to augmented reality-assisted navigation. Connectivity features include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with multiple USB ports across the cabin. Amenities include wireless charging, heated front seats with memory, dual-zone HVAC, power tailgate, and remote start. Additionally, Burmester Audio, 64-color ambient lighting, and 360-degree cameras with transparent-slash-invisible hood feature further enhance the GLC experience. On a personal level, we've never been a fan of the 2022 GLC's exterior. There's too much bulk being spread out with uneven proportions. Of course, it's our observation and looks very much subjective. But for 2023, Mercedes has done a fabulous job with the GLC's design. Exterior updates include redesigned front and rear bumpers, headlights, tail lights, and a bunch of new wheel designs. Although much of the silhouette remains the same, a lot of small but noticeable changes have tidied up the exterior looks. For instance, the new headlight design feels simple yet modern as do the restyled bumpers and taillights. On a personal level, we've never been a fan of the 2022 GLC's exterior. There's too much bulk being spread out with uneven proportions. Of course, it's our observation and looks very much subjective. But for 2023, Mercedes has done a fabulous job with the GLC's design. Exterior updates include redesigned front and rear bumpers, headlights, tail lights, and a bunch of new wheel designs. Although much of the silhouette remains the same, a lot of small but noticeable changes have tidied up the exterior looks. For instance, the new headlight design feels simple yet modern, as do the restyled bumpers and taillights. For 2023, Mercedes lets you option the GLC with painted wheel arches, which wasn't available for its predecessor. Not only does this improve the visual appeal, but it also makes the SUV slightly more luxurious. The GLC is offered in two trims. The Avant Garde or entry level trim adds 18 inch rims and a host of equipment packages. Opt for the AMG line, and you get sporty bits like aggressive bumpers and bigger 19 inch AMG wheels with aerodynamic add ons. The 2023 Mercedes Benz EQS SUV lends this fall with 373 mile range. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV goes on sale this fall as the first electric SUV from the German luxury brand in the U.S., following the EQS sedan that was released at the end of last year. The sedan was meant to be an electric S-Class, and the SUV comparable to the GLS class. The two share a wheelbase and platform, which will underpin more EQ electric vehicles in the future. The company gave some details on the EQS SUV at the opening of its EV, electric vehicle battery plant in Tuscaloosa, Alabama last month though the car was wrapped in its exterior was obscured. The electric SUV is a little smaller than the conventional three-row GLS. The new AV is about three inches shorter and the roof is more than four inches lower. However, it has a bigger wheelbase, meaning the wheels are pushed farther to the corners. In the EQS the third row is optional whereas in the GLS it is standard.
At the front, the grille centers the company's three-pointed logo with a star pattern emanating outward. Making the car aerodynamic was a top priority, according to the company, with clean lines stretching the length of the car from the EQS sedan-like front end. Even the wheels and tires were optimized using wind covers the company is calling aeroblades. The EQS SUV is coming to the U.S. in two forms, the rear-wheel drive EQS 450 Plus and the EQS 584 Matic all-wheel drive version. A 107.8 kWh battery and an electric motor combined in the rear-wheel drive version to deliver 355 horsepower and 419 pound-feet of torque. On the all-wheel drive version, the same combination makes 536 horsepower and 633 pounds to foot of torque. Official figures on range have yet to be announced, though the company says that 373 miles is possible on the European test cycle. DC fast charging from 10% to 80% is estimated by Mercedes to take 31 minutes. Central to the interior is the company's hyperscreen, a panel that integrates the gauge cluster, infotainment system and an additional screen for the passenger. The hyperscreen is optional on the 450 Plus and standard on the 584 Matic. Mercedes designed the interior to evoke a modern living space. Is available in seven different coordinated color combinations, using colors like sable brown Nevada gray or space gray macchiato beige. There's enough going on inside the cabin to keep everyone entertained. The passenger screen allows them to access navigation and entertainment functions, as well as media. Though if the driver glances at the screen, it darkens so as not to distract. Displays for entertainment are mounted on the rear of each front seat for second row passengers. For the EQS, Mercedes has developed a series of programs under the umbrella of Energizing Comfort, which is meant to engage your senses and put you at ease while driving. Three Energizing Nature programs, Forest Glade, Sound of the Sea and Summer Rain, import natural sounds and fragrances into the cabin to provide an antidote to the routines of everyday driving. The car also includes navigation with electric intelligence, which maps out routes for speed and convenience with charging stops included. The system is able to adapt to traffic conditions and driving styles. Eco charging works to preserve the SUV's battery life, reducing battery load during charging, imposing a charging limit of 80% and delaying charging based on a customer's set departure time. A driving assistance package is standard, which includes active driving assist, evasive steering assist, active blind spot assist and active brake assist. For navigating tight parking spaces and entrances, a parking assist function with a surround view camera is also standard. Mercedes expects to have the EQS SUV reach dealerships in the fall. Pricing details have yet to be announced. The EQS sedan starts at $102,310, with the SUV expected to be pricier. The EQS SUV will be cross-shopped with the 2022 Tesla Model X and 2022 BMW iX, which start at $114,990 and $83,200, respectively. The segment is expected to get more crowded in the near future with the arrivals of the 2022 Rivian R1S, starting at $72,500, and the 2023 GMC Hummer EV SUV, starting at $79,995. The R1S is standard with three rows, while the Hummer only sports two. In a recent virtual roundtable, Mercedes-Benz board member for marketing and sales Britta Seeger told journalists that the EQS SUV is not expected to take sales away from the sedan variant. As we are seeing this in the internal combustion engine world, the segments are not competing with each other because, as of now, we do see totally different customer needs and wishes.